Ladies and gentlemen, today we are taking a look at every single one of my NFL football helmets. Now we're going to take a look at each helmet in the order that I purchased them in. Now I do have six football helmets, so uh, let's take a look at number one. The first football helmet I ever got was this Riddell Speedflex Miami Dolphins helmet. Now when I first got this helmet, it obviously did not look like this. I pulled everything off the helmet and fully customized it. Obviously, as you can see, it's inspired by Mr. Ramsey, Mr. Jalen Ramsey himself, cornerback for the Miami Dolphins. So we're just going to take a look at each helmet, what's on it. Obviously, I've done individual videos on each of the helmets, but I thought I'd put all the helmets into one video so you guys only have to go to one place to see all the helmets. Starting with the helmet, it is a Miami Dolphins Riddell Speedflex helmet. Got the official Miami Dolphins licensed logos on the side. One, two, strip down the middle. We have the 3D Miami bumpers, which did not come with the helmet. I had to buy these separately. I cannot have a Speedflex without these. These are my, probably my favorite part of the helmet. There's the one on the back. Dolphins on the back and Miami on the front. It's got the Oakley Pro Prism Torch visor. And as I will show you right now, I've used zip ties to keep this visor on the helmet because no visor clip that I have, besides the shock ones, but I don't have any white shock visor clips. So I decided to use zip ties just for a more clean look. And also it's hard to get a visor clip in between the gap of these two bars here. Obviously it's got Jalen Ramsey's infamous face mask, which I got custom made from BA or Badass Mask in America. Let's take a look at that. I've got a Riddell Camlock chin strap for the Riddell Speed Flex with a chin saver on it. Jalen Ramsey always has the chin saver on there, so I had to get one too. I switched out the original black warning label for a aqua one or teal to match the Miami Dolphins colors, NFL logo, and I also switched out the United States flag from a matte one to a chrome one. This is what the uh, Jalen Ramsey Miami Dolphin helmet looks like. But yeah, this is probably my favorite helmet just because I put a lot of work into it and a lot of money's gone into the helmet to get it to this point. Um, and also this is my favorite face mask literally that I've ever seen. Up next, we have my field use helmet. Now all the NFL ones I have that have the NFL logos on them are not field use helmets. They're not recommended to be used in a game. But this helmet right here is certified to be used during a football game. So it's just a Riddell Speedflex again, all white. I've got the unbranded chrome visor on the front here with chrome visor clips, Riddell chin strap, the green gridiron, which is where I get all these helmets from. This is their 3D bumper that they chuck on if they have them available. Back of the helmet with the Riddell logo, the warning label, certification, initial use of the helmet, 2023. Each helmet, it says right here, maximum life of 10 years with annual recertification. So recertification every year. Your helmet is supposed to last you around 10 years. Obviously these helmets will last me a lifetime because I don't use them in any football games. I just use them for my YouTube videos. All the inside of the Speedflex are the same. It has, it has Riddell Speedflex's padding. See there. On my field use, I've also got black chin strap locks or clamps. I don't even know what they're called. Just to keep this chin strap locked up there as well. That's what it looks like on you. Riddell Speedflex, super comfortable. Jaw pads, nice and tight on my jaw. All around, just a fantastic helmet. Next helmet on the list is this white Dallas Cowboys Riddell Speedflex helmet. I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure why I got Dallas. Uh, I'm not really a Dallas Cowboys fan at all, but I saw them play in this white helmet on the TV during the season. And I just preferred the white one over the silver one. And I was like, it looked really cool. So, you know, uh, let's just, let's just say I brought this on impulse. But either way, super sick helmet. Once again, Riddell Speedflex helmet, Dallas Cowboys logos, strip down the middle. This one is was the first one that came with the 3D bumpers on the front. They so got Cowboys on the front and then Cowboys on the back there. They feel really nice. It's got the Oakley Pro Prism Sapphire visor on it. Super nice. I thought I got it because I thought it would match the uh, blue of the Dallas Cowboys. Black shock visor clips just because they're the only ones that fit between these small um, eye protectors at the front on the face mask. Riddell Speed Flex chin strap, the American flag on the back, NFL logo, and a black warning label. The only thing I've really customized on this is I just switched the face mask. This one originally came on the Miami Dolphins helmet, but when I got the Jalen Ramsey one, I switched it out, and then this one was free to put on another helmet. So this is how it looks on. I really like the face mask. Also never seen this one before until this year, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this is what it looks like on. The team I've gone for for almost 16 years, Carolina Panthers. Now this is the fourth helmet I got. I had to get my own team. I don't know why I didn't get my own team first. I got Miami first. I mean, they're my second favorite team, but, but then I got Dallas. Why would I get that before Carolina? Anyway, Carolina Panthers, my favorite team, just drawn to them. Just like you guys are drawn to the teams you're drawn to. Riddell Speedflex, Riddell Speedflex again. Beautiful Carolina Panthers 
logos on the side and the stripes down the middle. It also came with 3D bumpers, which I'm really glad I wanted these on my favorite team. So if they didn't come with them, I would have got them separately, but they did. So Panthers on the front and a nice, beautiful Panthers one on the back and their colors, United States logo, NFL logo, and black warning label, which matches the Panthers colors perfectly. Uh, Riddell chin strap again, shock visor clips, and the Oakley Pro Prism black visor. But yeah, here she is, Carolina Panthers. Unfortunately, they were the worst team in the league going, I'm pretty sure, two and 16, but we just got ourselves a new coach, so hopefully he can uh, turn things around in that organization. Next one on the list is the old Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, this is the fifth helmet that I got. Once again, all these helmets are from Green Gridiron. Jacksonville Jaguars logo on each side. Uh, the Jags don't have a decal down the middle. Same face mask that I've got on the Dallas Cowboys one, except black to match the Jags. Black shock visor clips, unbranded all black visor, which originally came on the Miami Dolphins helmet, but obviously I switched that out. Riddell Speed Flex cam lock chin strap. At the moment, you will notice I don't have any bumpers on the Jags helmet. To my disappointment, the Jags helmet did not come with the 3D bumpers, they just came with the sticker. So I ripped that off and I do have 3D bumpers on order. On the back of the helmet, US flag, NFL logo, and the warning label. And this is where the back 3D bumper will go. Yes, yeah, so this is what the Jag helmet looks on. Just a nice clean, clean black helmet. You know, black, all black, you know, with the black visor. Last but definitely not least is my 2024 shot F7 helmet. Done a full video on this. It just reached 10,000 views, which is incredible to me. So thank you, everyone. Just a quick rundown on this helmet. Uh, obviously, it's not a Riddell Speedflex for once. It's my only shot F7 and my first one that I've ever had. Got it in matte white because they didn't have gloss white. Tectonic plates on the top. Double ear holes, which is different to the Riddell Speedflex. We've got a black shut chin strap, white chin saver on it, white face mask with one of my all-time favorite styles of face mask, white visor clips, just unbranded ones, make it look super clean. I used to have black ones on here, but I like just like oh, that all white, you know, shot logo on the top there. We've got the Oakley Legacy Prism 24 karat gold visor on the front here, shot on the back, and just the one little warning label on the side there. Padding on the inside, I don't know if you can see, is very different to the uh, Riddell Speed Flex. Shot F7, there's a huge debate, which I said in the other video, which one's lighter, which one's heavier, la la la. It's always up to you. Also with the Shot F7, it's buckles for the chin strap instead of the cam lock system. The Shot F7 is, they're, they're great helmets all, they're all around. I mean, the Riddell Speed Flex is fantastic and so is the Shot F7. Like I've said in past videos, it comes down to personal preference for which one you prefer. This is what the Shot F7 looks like on. Very nice helmet. Very beautiful. I will also say that this 24 karat gold visor makes everything look much more vibrant. Now, just quickly, I will be leaving links in the description to every piece of equipment that you've seen in today's video, from the helmet to the face mask, to the visors, to the visor clips. Huge thanks to everyone who stuck around to the end of the video. I really do appreciate everyone who has subscribed to the channel, supported the channel, and watches the videos. And that's the end of this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please drop a like, and if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We just reached over 300 subscribers, which is crazy in my opinion so uh thank you very much and like i always say the journey continues tied to a maggie big boss status ain't gonna lie i really wish they would like a cabin